Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today we're going to talk about how Microsoft Flow integrates with Power BI. If you don't know what Microsoft Flow is, don't worry, I will show you in just a second. Okay, so this is a video that was requested by Norberto. Uh, he wanted me to do a, a video on how Power BI and Microsoft Flow, the text recognition services, the co cognitive services from Microsoft and Twitter, how they all integrated together. And he pointed to an example that he had seen online and that he had actually tested and it worked very well. So worked very well. So he thought, like, oh, it would be cool if you do this and show it for everybody else. So thank you, Norberto. I'm not going to do exactly this example because I think it's great if you have something else to practice on, uh, not just um, these examples. So I will do something else and then you can come back here and try this example by yourself. Uh, so the example that I'm going to do is a fictitious one, but I hope that is a fun one and illustrates the power of Flow and Power BI. So you might be wondering what this picture is. Well, uh, here in Sweden, there is a service or a company called Hemglass. And uh, what this company do is uh, it goes around with these freezer vans and uh, they are selling ice cream from house to house. So it goes to all the neighborhoods. They have a special music that they play and uh, they sell a lot of glass, uh, a lot of ice cream. So it is going very well for them. So we thought that we are going to compete with them and we're going to create our own business and we're going to call it Stockholm Ice. So because uh, we know a lot about Power BI, we know a lot about Azure and all those these kind of services, we're going to use um, everything that Microsoft has to offer to gain a competitive advantage against Hemglass. And this is what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to create a flow that will ask for the weather very, very early in the morning. And we will send that information to all our drivers. At the same time, we're going to log that into Power BI so we can match our sales with the weather. So is it true that better weather, better sales? And in that case, we will have to stock our cars appropriately so we don't have too much or too little on the tracks, okay? So this is what we're going to do to beat Hemglass at their own business. Let's start. Okay, so now we are in Power BI. What we need to do first is to create a streaming data set. We go here to, here you scroll to the bottom and then you see a streaming data set. We are, click on add and then API. Next, we are going to call it Stockholm Ice. And here we want to store the location in case we add more in the future. We want to have the date as date. We want to have the temperature in number and we want to have the conditions in case if it's raining or something. We want to store the data and then create. Done. Okay, so here we have our new created streaming data set. So what we need to do now is we want to, we will go to flow, you just log in. If you have an Office 365 account, it's super easy. Otherwise, just create an account. You have a free uh, account so you can just test and see if this is something for you. And what we're going to do here first is refresh. So whatever it was done in Power BI will get in here. And the other thing is you can create something from scratch, but I prefer to do it with templates because they've already done something that can help you and guide you and get, you know, get started easier. 
And because we know we want to get weather data, why not check what is already there? And here you have a few uh, flows created by other people and by Microsoft. And this is exactly what we need. We want to get a daily notification with the weather forecast. But we want to not to have a push notification, we want it to have it stored. So we need to modify this. So we click on it, use this template, and this one we are just the Microsoft is just telling us, okay, these are the services you need and say, okay, that's fine. And now we need to edit this. So recurrence once a day. Get the forecast for today. We want it in Stockholm. And we want to have metric. Here we don't want this. What we want is I did that too fast, right? But it's add action and then power BI. Click on there and then we click on here, add rows to a data set. You will have to log in. I'm already logged in in Power BI, so you already recognize that and just, you know, doesn't ask for the credentials if you haven't done that, you will have to do it first. So these are the workspace available in my Power BI. I will check my workspace. That's where the streaming data set is. Check Stockholm Eyes. The name of the table. And here the fields that we created on the streaming data set appear here. Okay. So now if you click in there, it gives you the values that you can actually send to Power BI. Now, as you saw, I started in Power BI creating the streaming data, data set, but really what you need to do is start here to see what actually you can send, right? And then once you see, okay, this is the values that are possible, then you can go back and add. So. You can start in Power BI and add a text field, and then as you say, oh, okay, but this is what, what I can send, then you can add accordingly. But just so I didn't make the video too long, I just skipped that step, but I think it's important to say. So here we have location, there we have location, date, and date. The temperature, we want to have the lowest temperature, and we want to have the conditions if it's raining, Perhaps even if it's hot, the, the sales will be lower. So we need to tell our drivers that don't don't stock that much on the cars. Uh, yeah, and that's it. So now click create flow. Your flow was created. Click done. We do that, and then we go here into manage. And. In there, you can see that the connection succeeded one second ago. And everything flowed correctly. We actually forgot to send an email to our drivers. Let's do that. Let's go here and say, okay, once you've done that, go to Office 365 and send an email me. I also have a car. So there you go. And then on the subject, we want to have the weather today is and the conditions are Update. It's saving. Done. We go to manage again. The last time it was modified was nine seconds ago. There is actually a possibility here to rerun. So let's do that. 
because we want to get that email to there. Okay, so now we have to go to Power BI and see if we've got any data and then we will see if we got an email or not. So here's a report. And here we have all the values, that's good. So we have temperature, location, date, and conditions. I don't know why it's always a bar chart first. It should be a table. It just annoys me. And then we're going to make this bigger. 108, I thought I said metric. Oh, okay, it doesn't matter. So today at 11 p.m. It is not 11 p.m. Okay, doesn't matter. Uh, Stockholm, Sweden, conditions cloudy. So now if I leave this running, it will actually give, um, give me a new value every day. And it will send an email. Let's check the email. So here we have the email. Um, it says the weather today is minus four, which it is. This is more correct than what it was sent to Power BI. And the conditions are cloudy. So don't pack too much on your car. Really cool, isn't it? So I think we're actually ready to launch our business and hopefully it goes well. And now the question is, what can you do for your business? What kind of flows are relevant to you? So this was a little bit of a joke, but it, the possibilities are actually, yeah, enormous. Okay. So this is actually all for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I did enjoy making it. It was very fun to work with Flow. And if you make your own flows, please let me know. I would love to hear what you're doing. You have actually the possibility to share them. I haven't showed it, but if you make any, just share them with me. I would love to see them. Um, as always, if you like the video, let me know by liking it. If you have any comments or questions, suggestions, let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe. I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a great evening. Bye.